There's a new sheriff in town. Joining me now is the newest Penguin. He is right wing Ryan Reeves. Uh, Ryan, first off, welcome to Pittsburgh. Uh, the trade from St. Louis was very much a surprise, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. It was a, uh, a huge surprise, actually. I um, I was sitting at home playing ping pong. I actually forgot it was the draft. Um, and I got a text from Army, our GM, and uh, asked me to call him. Uh, I didn't really think anything of it. Uh, and then uh, my buddy Chris Stewart called me and asked if I was getting traded. So I jumped on Twitter real quick and uh, saw a couple rumblings, gave my GM a call, and uh, and here we are. Now, you've always played well against Pittsburgh. You had that sweet breakaway goal just this past season. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? You know, I, it was funny. Halfway through the season, uh, I went up to my one of my teammates. I can't remember who I was talking to. But I said, "I got to stop playing good against these guys. They're going to trade for me." <laughs> <laughs> and look what happens. Now you're not strictly a fighter, Ryan. Uh, you played in playoff games all eleven for St. Louis, and you take a regular shift. So, what exactly do you feel you bring to the table? Uh, you know what I think. You know, with the with the way the NHL is going right now, obviously fighting's kind of leaving the game. Um, you know, I only had six last year. Um, but I think, I think I've made a reputation around the league of being a hard guy to play against. Um, you know, I, everybody knows I, I play physical. I never turn away from a hit. And, uh, I think that kind of opens up room for, for my teammates. Um, you know, when, when I have to stick up for my teammates, I, I have no problem doing that. So, uh, I think I just more bring my reputation and just a little bit of, uh, comfort on the ice for the boys. Well, one thing I really like from what I've seen is you can really skate, and that should make you a good fit with Pittsburgh, shouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's no secret Pittsburgh plays a very a fast game, very fast transition game. Um, you know, I, I know if you don't play physical against them, uh, it, it's tough to catch them. Uh, that's all I remember from playing against uh, Pittsburgh. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I worked on my skating all last summer to get faster, Um but I got a feeling I gotta I gotta work even harder this summer and get a little bit faster to keep up with the boys there. Well, the nice thing about the speed, Ryan, is you can catch anybody. You can hit good players, not just the the, the other team's third and fourth liners. Uh, you got to feel like that's a big positive, right? Yeah, I mean, if I'm, uh, it, it's it's one thing to be catching fourth line guys and just kind of setting a tone like that. But um, you know, I, I definitely I made it a one of my points when we played Pittsburgh to to catch Crosby as many times as I could. And, um, you know, now I'm on the other end of it. I'm going to be catching guys on other teams and making sure uh, those guys are taken care of. But, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, it only helps when you can catch their top guys because then they're looking over their shoulders. Who's the best player you ever hit hard, Ryan? Gave a really good shot to, and, and please don't say Crosby. Oh, absolutely, it's Crosby. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I... I caught him, uh, I want to say two years ago, I caught him against the boards a little bit, and I think I shook him up a bit. But, um, you know, that, that's always been that, that's always been our mentality playing against fast teams. you got to go after, and that's that's every team. When, when you're playing against a really good, fast team with skilled players, you have to go after their top guys. And, um, you know, you look at the playoffs, guys are going after, guys are going after Sid, they're going after Malcolm, they're going after all the top guys, and, um uh, that's really the only way you can slow down that much talent. Now, you were 10th in the NHL in hits last year, Ryan. So it's not just about big hits, but it's about delivering them consistently as well, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're if you're going and you're trying to throw, you know, 10 hits a game, maybe you get credit for five, and maybe one of them is a big one. But as, as long as other teams know that you're coming every shift, every every time you have a chance to lay a body, you're going to do it. It makes them think twice about going to the corner. It makes them uh, hesitate to go and get the puck. And even if I'm not on the ice, then I think that opens up room for uh, some of the other guys. We're talking to the newest Penguin, Ryan Reeves, here on the home of the Penguins, 105.9 The X. Uh, Ryan, Rick Tockett is an assistant coach here. I don't know if you've heard from him yet, but when he played, he was both tough and productive. What can you learn from a guy like that? Well, I mean, uh, that's a guy that I obviously try and mirror my game uh, around. Um, you know, I think when I came into the league, I was more strictly uh, an enforcer type role. Uh, but as the, the rules have changed, I've had to kind of adapt my game. And, um, you know, so the skill part is something I work on a lot over the summers now. Uh, and, 
and that's what you have to do to stay in the league. You have to be productive. You can't just be eating eating minutes and kind of be a go out there and fight guy anymore. So, um, you know, I, I work on my skills, and I know I know he's going to help me for sure this uh, this year to be more productive. Now, can a tough guy truly be a deterrent in today's hockey, or is it more your job to react? Uh, you know, I I kind of make it of a point not to be a reactionary player. I think um, when I was younger, I was more uh, reacting to what other people were doing, and I would either uh, put myself into trouble or get my emotions too high. Uh, you know, I'd take a bad penalty. It just it wasn't worth it. So, um I, I'd rather initiate and somebody come after me, but um, you know there are there's going to be those times in a season I can't be on the ice all the time, obviously, and uh, guys are going to get hit, guys are going to try and go after uh, some of our top guys, and I, I will have to react. But I think I think what's helped me stay in this league is the way I react isn't always it isn't it, it doesn't hurt the team when I go out and react. You know, I, I may just go out and. You know, tell somebody, hey, I'm coming, just let all the boys know, and then I'll go lay a hit and go sit quietly on the bench, and, you know, now they know I'm coming, and maybe they settle down a bit. Now, there's a lot of enthusiasm here in Pittsburgh, Ryan, about your acquisition. Chris Letang got on Twitter to welcome you. That must make you feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, uh, anytime you get traded, I, this is my first time, but, um, but you know, I, I, I'd like to feel welcome, obviously, and um, so far, everybody that I've talked to in the organization and a few players have made me feel very welcome. And um, you know, it it was definitely a tough couple of days uh, leaving a team that I've been with for uh, ten years. But um, you know, just hearing from some of those guys is definitely making me a lot more excited over the days. Why is the tough guy always such a great teammate and the most popular guy in the locker room, Ryan? I I find that to be universal in, in almost you know forty some odd years of covering the game. Uh, I think we just have that mentality that, you know, on or off the ice, we always got to take care of everybody and we kind of play that dad role and make sure everybody's having fun and make sure everybody's taken care of. And that's, you know, I, I do that on and off the ice. I like to have a good time. I like to keep it light. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I, I think I've been around long enough that when I talk, people listen. And uh, that's something I want to bring to uh, Pittsburgh. Now, as you mentioned earlier, your fighting has dwindled during your time in the league, and I, I think that's to your credit to remain still effective uh, despite that. Have you ever thought about the long-term consequences of fighting, Ryan? Because some frequent fighters have had some problems after hockey, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, you know what? It hasn't, knock on wood, it hasn't crossed my mind very much because I've been, I've been very fortunate to not uh, have been hit too hard so far. Uh, I mean, obviously, I've taken uh, I've taken some punches, but I haven't uh, I haven't suffered any concussions yet. Uh, I've been very fortunate in that sense. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it really hasn't crossed my mind, and uh, you know, fighting doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't really get very amped up when I fight. I think if you watch my fights, I'm I'm pretty calm during them. So, uh, I, I'm sure an injury could change my thought process, but. Um, so far, no. Well, let's finish up with a pretty basic question, Ryan. Uh, what's it like to be on a team with Crosby and Malkin and try to make history by winning a third straight Stanley Cup? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> trying to win three Stanley Cups in a row is obviously uh, a very hard feat to, to accomplish. But um, to be able to play with two of the best players in the world and uh, you know go to war with, with those guys and try and bring another Stanley Cup home would be... Uh, you know, it's obviously an honor that uh, they brought me in to do that, and uh, I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited about the opportunity. Ryan, thank you so much for taking the time in the middle of your summer and, and getting acclimated to the trade. I appreciate it, and we'll see you soon, I hope. Hey, anytime, guys. That's Ryan Reeves, number 75.